Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop to Apollo 22 or Get Her Out 22. What we have here is a, uh, an air receiver that uh, somebody in their wisdom has had galvanised <coughs> and um, they've realised then that they can't connect anything to all these um, uh, all the connections because the galvanising has blocked up the holes or or um, totally misshapen the holes. So what we have here is four one inch, two one and a half inch, uh, sorry, uh, four, yeah, four one inch, four, four one and a half inch, two half inch, one three eighths um, threads to repair. Uh, I've, I've got all my implements of destruction here and um, these are a whole Yesterday I had to buy some uh, the one and a half inch, the larger one, and um, and they've, they've all the smaller ones out of my stock except for one more half inch, half inch unit. Uh, sorry, one inch unit. So here we are up there. We're going to swing out. Um, I've started to clean up this half inch hole on the top. We'll carry on with that one, and uh, we've got some one and a half inch ones also to do. So what I'm doing here is I'm running, I'm running a starter tap, uh, number one, and um, working my way through it. I've put the big breaker bar here just in case I need to hold on to it. Uh, up okay. This one over here is a 3 8 one. Most of them the inner part of the um, the inner part the inner part of the socket is totally destroyed. And you can't cut these out and replace them because then the whole thing would have to go back uh, for complete testing. So that can't happen. We'll just get this out now. Uh, the next tap down. Unfortunately, I can't swing my handle here, um, so I've got no choice but to use uh, the socket. Not my preferred way to go. I do have some socket um, adapter units. However, um, they're out in the in the truck. I will give this a go. starter tap I used now this is this is the paper tap. Um, it's the same pitch for the taper style fixture. These these two upper ones will be blowout and uh, maybe even Maybe, maybe even a uh, some sort of a, a large gauge, probably be on the three eighths one. The half inch one will be a blowout. Going by this size cylinder, we'll need a half inch safety valve on it. Okay, so that might be good. I'll come back later and clean all this. Clean, clean everything up. So we've. Been had success with that one. We've um, completed this one. 
We're now going to just do a, a secondary check through here. Um, I don't have the compressor on. It's 5.30 in the morning here in uh, Western Australia. So I've got to be careful about not making too, uh, to make me too much noise. Yeah. Um, this is a new tap I bought yesterday, um, one inch BSP. We'll just um, bring that camera down so you can see the doings as we record. We'll come down here now. and we'll work on that fella. So, with, with this tap I'm using my number 78, uh, my number 7B I should say, um, handle. I really do need that one that uh, Adam has for this inch and a half tap, which is on the other side there. the limit for an old fella like me. Having said that, I've got these inch and a half ones on this side to deal with as well. Not an easy game, this get her out game. But it's what we get paid for and we're solving a problem here for our client who really got himself in a bind. trusty um, black cutting oil. It's the same cutting oil that's used in the uh, thread machines. Bolt machines, thread machines. Black, sticky. Adam's muscles. And this is only one inch.
and my eldest, uh, when my youngest favourite son comes in here later on to help me with some work, I might get him to um, swing his arm on, on those, uh, on, on these again. Two more here. These are the uh, inch and a half ones, which um, I've been through once, and we're going to go through them again. Um, we have one down the bottom, and we'll have one up the top. Might have to shift, shift that camera again. This is a tapered, tapered thread. Uh, these are all BSP, which is the standard for pipe work in Australia for air. Um, so we'll just check that camera again. We'll bring it up here. And we'll give this one a go with a 15 inch shifter. large one and I blow all the swarf inside just to make it so it doesn't bind up. It's a good idea always when you're tapping that's a taper so it does Tend to move the end to uh, try and grab something else. Now, I don't have an inch and a half to test that, but it's a brand new tap, so I'm pretty sure that that's going to be good. So, this one here is done. And we'll carry on, it'll just be boring for you. So, uh, have a good Wednesday and the rest of the week, and uh, we'll see you again in uh, Polo, whichever number.